A lot of people think it's a laundry hamper. A lot of people think it's a laundry hamper. Hello and welcome to another episode of Hacker Whack at Home Edition. Today, we might suffocate and die. I'm very glad that you're far away from me now because today we're testing something that's gonna keep us even further apart. That's right, what do we have today? We saw a tweet from Celeste Ng that shared these personal pop-up pods that I guess are like a super face shield that you can wear around your body, like a personal tent. I actually ordered you one, Jordan. Let's, let's take a look at it. Here we have something called the shield pod, which is a pod that you can put over your entire body. What it looks like, you can just pop this baby open and it turns into a cube. It has straps in the back that you would just sort of put on like a backpack. Is your face looking through an, an armhole right now? Uh, yes. So that's an armhole and then the bottom is all open, but there's no holes on the top for airflow. There are no holes on the top. The top is covered. I think you should try it on, Jordan. Just put this on here. Uh, I just put my arms, I think, through the shoulder straps like I'm wearing a backpack. See if I can get through that. All right. I'm in. Can you stand up? Can you show us the full body? Oh, hey, look at you. I'm in it. So how does it feel, first impressions? Is it heavy, is it wobbly? First impression is that it is very light. Um, it's not fogging up. I was worried that this transparent plastic in the front would fog. It is not fogging. There's some adjustable straps here, so it just feels like you're wearing a normal backpack just with nothing in it. It weighs probably, I don't know, two, three pounds. It's virtually weightless and it rests on my head. I don't know if that's because I'm tall or if because the shoulder straps are not tight enough. Jordan, do you feel like it's easy to breathe? Do you feel like this is shielding your breath and droplets from getting out to the world? It's definitely shielding my breath and droplets from getting out to the world. The only place that they can go is down. If I did want to talk with someone without this cover, I'm just realizing I've got a little tent zipper here. But why? <laughs> I'm not sure why this exists, but if I wanted to, I can roll down the windows and make this baby a drop top. The price for this model, this one that I bought you, it started at $80 and then with shipping and tax, it was close to 100. And I thought that this pop-up tent was very similar to just a plastic zipper comforter bag. And we're gonna see if I can get the same effects by wearing this. And I do wanna say this was three for 20 on Amazon. So yours was about $100, this was about $7 for one bag. Um, uh, it's definitely much closer to my face than yours is. So it's, it is fogging up. Airflow is not great. I don't have armholes, but I do have the zipper goes up past my shoulders. Breathing is not the easiest thing. I've been wearing this for about 15 seconds now. It is roughly 130 degrees in here. <laughs> wearing a comforter bag as a full body shield is absolutely whack. I'm gonna take it off and I probably ruined my hair. I'm not sold against this yet, unless I take it out into public. Yeah, I think you should take it out for a spin and see what you can and can't do with it. Really? What's going on? Is that a Halloween costume? A lot of people think it's a laundry hamper that I just threw on my head so they don't understand the sophisticated sleep design and that it has shoulder straps and a nice little harness. One thing I noticed, it does not fog up when I speak. It does seem to keep people away. It gets a little more attention than I would uh, otherwise get. Cool. <sighs> you can take it off now that you're back inside. I guess I'm socially distanced enough in my own home. People's reactions were what you might expect. You know, they you got a lot of stares, get a lot of um, weird looks. If my choice was between wearing something that encases my entire body, that's transparent, that's an option for $100, or I can wear a mask that I can get for very, very cheap, that seems like it does the exact same thing. Are you saying that the Shield Pod personal pop-up tent body protector is a hack or is it whack? Shield Pod, unfortunately, as much as I love the suggestion, this is pretty whack. 
What are you going to do with the shield pod now that you will not be wearing it out in the rest of your life? Oh, I'm still gonna use it. I'm not gonna waste your money, Joel. I care about you enough as a friend that when I meet you, I'm going to be wearing this.